Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Beach FM, wonderful to welcome back the chair of the Otaki Community Board, Chris Pabs. Good morning to you. Good morning, John, and good morning, everybody. I believe that you had some road constructors coming your way uh, to speak at the recent meeting about a, a somewhat controversial road closure up the Otaki Gorge. Yes, we had features come and go through the road closure at Otaki Gorge, which is going to happen. Uh, they're going to try and make it for as short a time as possible. They say two weeks to two months. So your guess is as good as mine as to how long it's going to take. I think it's probably mm. you know weather reliant. And also they said it depends what they find when they're digging out whatever it is they're digging out to move. If it's if it's easy to do, it won't take as long. If it's sort of whatever ground it is they, they find difficult, it will take longer. They know it's going to inconvenience a lot of people up the gorge and around Haltree and School Road, but they are not going to close the road until they have the bridge from School Road over to Tihara Beach Road. So it means you're not going to have to coming out of School Road and crossing the traffic onto State Highway 1, which will eliminate some of the concerns that some people had in regards to safety. So... And you know they're talking about when schools are, if schools coming and going, they they will try and mitigate something around that as well to have somebody there to slow down traffic and and make sure the children are safe. Okay. So all in all, they're going to do what they can. It's inevitable. It is going to have to be closed, which is just one of those things that happens. Originally, we were told, oh, probably 12 months ago, that they weren't going to have to close the gorge, but now they've discovered they do have to. So well, I know a lot of people are really upset yes, about they are. it, but uh, and, yes, and, and you but, know, there's quite a lot of people affected by this, isn't there? Oh gosh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. You know, well, there's the rural delivery people; they have to do their their fruit and, and reverse, and and uh, so that's going to take them a bit of extra time as well. Uh, and I mean, the, the school kids; I mean, they still go the same way, so that's fine. But there's the um, the chiller place down mm. Otaki Gorge Road, they're going to have to go the long way round. Yes, so that means these big money. trucks are going to be going up the gorge, along the crossroad, down School Road and, and out. So that's that's a bit extra for them as well, which which is probably quite an inconvenience. Extra mileage, yes. but hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, that it will not take as long as two months. Did they give longer. you an update on the expressway itself, how that's going? No, well, they obviously got behind because of COVID, um, but because the weather's been reasonably good, they're actually making quite good time now. They're getting the bridges done. The main thing is actually is they're getting, getting this bridge over from School Road over to Tihora Beach Road. That, that's their priority at the moment, so that they do have access when the gorge closes. And everything else seems to be running fairly much to schedule. The, the estimated opening time now is not till... 2022, which was originally 2021. So hopefully it's early in 2022 and not late in 2022. Yeah, I think people are getting to the stage where they've had enough. Oh yes, I know, and it's um, it's just unfortunate. Things things always seem to take longer than anticipated. You know, you know that yourself when you clean out a wardrobe. Basically, I think oh, this is only going to take me half an hour and two hours later. I'm still sitting in the middle of a room full of junk. <laughs> yes, well, it's particularly annoying if you've been given assurances that the wardrobe yeah. would be finished by a certain time, oh, and it I know. keeps leaking out. And I think yeah, that's what the situation is here that we've had several days yeah. mentioned. Uh, you had a, a, lot of it, a lot of it's weather, con weather control. You can understand that to a certain degree. And, and COVID has stuck a very big spanner in their works. And, of course, they seem to have lost some workforce as well as a Absolutely. result of, of the lockdown. People have gone back to Australia. Yep. Yes, people have gone back to Australia. And, you know, so it's inevitable that we now need to find more people to actually do the jobs. And, and these are, a lot of them are actually skilled jobs, not just... Mm things that, that anybody can actually do. So that, that therein lies the problem I think. That's right. But they are work, they are working their hardest to, to get up to get up to speed. Right. We've got um a gateway meeting again, the gateway sculpture meeting on Friday. That's mm. really coming along. We're hoping to have that started by Christmas or just after. So hopefully we'll have the unveiling of the Southern Sculpture early in the new year with a bit of luck. And I believe that you had a, a wonderful occasion over the weekend, uh, I, I was going to say uh, a launch, but it's more like an elevation, elevating Otaki. 
Yes, we had our Elevate All Tacky launch on Friday evening and it was absolutely fantastic. It was fabulous. Everybody that was there was absolutely thrilled with, with what we've achieved so far, what we've done. And people going through Old Tacky now will see the big billboards up that are advertising Old Tacky. And there's there's one with um, John Pritchard and his partner's little boy at the Kite Festival. And the little fella didn't actually know he was on this billboard and they drove <laughs> past on the way to school. And they put it on Facebook and his, oh, it was just oh. so good to hear how excited he was that he was on a billboard on State Highway 1. Well, he's famous. Absolutely. Now, this is the other side of the expressway, isn't it? Because this is yes, basically is. NZTA money that's doing this or making it yes. possible. Yes, it is. We're, we're, our councillor, well, I think James was community board chair at the time when he went to the Board of Inquiry and lobbied to get some money to help promote Old Tacky when the expressway went through. So thanks to James, we got this money from NZTA and KCDC and it means we've been able to, to actually promote Old Tacky and, and, and ways that perhaps uh, Wike and I and Papua have not been able to do. Mm. So we're very fortunate in that regard and it's really all starting to fall into place now. It's taken a long time getting there but it really is starting to look really good. Now I tell you what, one of the buzzwords in the southern parts of our area is the night market. It has really taken off. People absolutely love the night market, the trains heading up to the yard in Otaki, and I've got a feeling that could be a thing. I think so. Tony and I went the, the first night market, and there were just so many people there. It was absolutely amazing. And I think a lot of the shops weren't terribly busy, but I think as it gets more and more popular and more and more people start to know about it and more of the shops actually open so there's lights all the way down the main street. Yep. The people at the market will realise that there's something else further down and hopefully go down and spend some money in these other shops and even just pop their nose in and see what they've got and go back another day. Chris, do you think there's a possibility that there could be some decorations up for Christmas and make it, uh, well, I was going to say, a German-style Christmas market? But you know what I'm talking about. It could be a real attraction. It's got already the foundation, but it could be something really special, couldn't it? Mm, well, that's what we're working on at the moment, trying to get ah. something special for Christmas. And, and not, just, not just down on the State Highway, but also down in Main Street. Indeed. Get, 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 get a bit more vibrancy down there and bring people down there as well. Indeed, because there's so much in Main Street, and it is the Main Street after all, isn't it? That mm, That is the right. hub of the community. And, well, it's been great to catch up, and obviously things are really buzzing in Autarky at the moment. Oh, absolutely. You know, the, the golf course is humming because it, it's just such a perfect course at the moment. We had a big um, Man or Two Wellington tournament here two weekends ago. Unfortunately, Wellington beat us, but... <laughs> Uh, but they were all raving about our course, how, how great it is. And so, you know, we, we, need, we need to push that as well and get more people You're coming right. here and playing golf. And then they'll go and spend money in the shops as well. And, you know, stay in the motels and keep Absolutely. the money circulating. That's what it's yes. all about. And, Absolutely. Uh, you know, there has been some quite positive spin offs for some of the tourism operators with more New Zealanders looking towards home and uh, looking towards Otaki. Why not? There's so much yes. happening. Oh, absolutely. And we have the Andrew London concerts here now once a month. Oh, yes. Well, he's wonderful, so, isn't he? And yeah, he's and a local. Yes, and it's been sold out both times, over 100 people both, both times he's had it. So, so if you want a ticket, get it early for the next one. <laughs> wonderful, Chris. <laughs> hey, thanks very much for keeping us up. You're a bundle of energy. It's lovely to hear you here on Beach <laughs> FM. Okay, thank you, John, and thank you, everybody. Bye. 106.3 Beach FM.